Hello, Sagittarius. It is time for your mid-October to boop your nose. November, oh, I missed, sorry, boop, okay. October to November read of this current year. Check it out. These are my dark mirror deck. It's an oracle deck. It's an awesome oracle. And we're going to use it to figure out the vibration for you or the person you're dealing with. Sagittarius and cross-watchers alike. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes. If you want a personal reading after this, all the information is in the description box below after... The background music list I leave up of all the channels I use for uh, my videos. Newcomers, first readings on the house. Everything else comes with a price. And I accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. This is your oracle card. Colorless Angel, number 10. Let's see. What does it say? The moon phases the first quarter and the sage is denial, much like the stage is a grief, right? It is better not to feel rather than feeling pain. The visual seed, a dark horse, prances proudly in the background, unnoticed by a man, kneeling upon a pond. He wears a crown of mirth, his face expressionless. Behind him wings of smoke and bone grow or disappear. His sentence, apathy is the crowned king of nothingness and the shining queen of whatever. It's literally what it says. It literally says, like, whatever. I don't know if you can see that, but that's... It, 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 I like that. At least that fits perfectly. Okay. Going dark, we can be Siegfried, the dragon-slain hero. But not when he slays the dragon, nor when he is betrayed and dies. When he is simply doing nothing. We can be Michael the Archangel. While he waits, bored and motionless, in St. George, surprised in a moment of stillness and nothingness. All the strong rivers can become a swamp when they reach the plains, and the most yummy food can become gummy after a couple of hours unattended on the table. There's a lot of darkness when we make the habit of going gray. We numb our senses with the fog of delays, and then we just get indifferent to the fog herself. I'm here, we whisper, and if, by a very tiny chance, someone notices and replies and asks, who's there? We become shy and we stay silent a little more. You cannot be saved unless you face the dragon, and the dragon hurts. Of course it does. Okay, so that's your vibration for this read, Sagittarius. So in other words, you're not allowed not to feel nothing, or at least be in the mood to feel that stuff. Or maybe you're going through that. Maybe the person you were dealing with is now going through that. It's up to you, Sag and Cross Watchers. Right? Right. So let's see. First card. The world. Things are closing out, and now a new cycle's getting ready to start for you. Uh, and, and, and you're just like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Like, you're taking your cup, and you're leaving the rest. It's like, I'm not dealing with this. This is stupid. I hate this shit, you know? Thoughts and feelings is just your brain is rattled with so many, many different things that are just bothering you and keeping you in a state of almost contempt at this point, right? Meanwhile, with the star, the root of that feeling is wanting to communicate. I think you want to reach out, let it be known how you feel, but it's like it's too much. So it's just like, eh, but it bothers you that you can't reach out and talk so it's just like you know what i don't want to feel anything anymore this is dumb let's see we got the judgment card right here either something's getting resurrected or you got a good idea about something right but unfortunately it feels like you can't charge forward or even worse you might just be picking fights with people for no reason that could be an issue too 
Or it could be a water sign doing this around you. It could be a Cancer, you know? We also got Aquarius on the board as well. And then we have the Ten of Wands. There's a burden you definitely want to release in all of this. All right, Sagittarius. the world right here things are closing out so the new can begin right someone hmm you might have drove somebody away who you had to drive away you know like they're running like a little bitch and you're just like okay good go back to whence you came you know, um, but that also could have stemmed from taking things a little bit too far, too. You could have been a little bit too much in control, I feel like, Sag. Either that or it was an Aries you drove away, possibly, or someone with Aries in their chart, one of the two. But someone's a little bit of a control freak. Always had to be his way or the beheaded way. And we left with a lot of um, conflicting thoughts that honestly when strung together probably don't make a lick of sense but that's okay <clears throat> down here with the eight of cups though somebody Sagittarius and cross watchers alike is trying to get away from what emotional attachments they did have and my cards are all over the floor is that all over? okay there's four this time um some lack of action caused something um, drastic to happen. It was a sudden, like, the lack of taking the... The lack of change is what spurred on this um, cataclysm. The storm, if you will. Um, when it came in regards to whether or not two people, I guess, were connected or together or some shit. Because someone really wasn't trying to ride it and make it an offer. They made that very clear as they stood there with their antler helmet and shit. Um, because they're, and now someone is looking over the storm from the distance. Like, watching it boom and just being like, I don't know if I want to go in there. Like, what if I get shocked? Like, you know, I'm in armor, and that's metal, and metal attracts, like, stuff like that, and I just, I don't want to be that statistic. I want to, I want to outlive my peers when it comes to like lightning storms I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna stand right here and watch it right is that all of them okay okay first up this top right up here someone won't release what makes them secure at all to the point where now they're insecure and that's because they let somebody drown but unfortunately the person did not die drowning but even if they did, this person can't let go of the regret. It's kind of like, um, the person you might have driven away, like Sagittarius, it's like, it's like they don't want to let go of their reasons, even though they're guilty as fuck. You know, even though this dude's like shaking at himself for what he's done and he and like every time he stands up and puts his arms together, he's immediately taken back to that scene where he's hearing somebody scream or it just pops up out of nowhere as like something that's just entirely insane. Like it just shows up in his bathtub. It's like a it's like the Ray Charles movie, right? How he always had flashbacks of his brother and the accident that happened with that, which I thought was terrible. Uh, that's a horrible thing to see right before you go blind permanently, you know? But it's like... He lived with the guilt of what happened with his brother into his age to where, like, he would see shit. And he was blind, right? So it was fucked up even more. Which means, like, you know, his imagination was super heavy. Like, I couldn't imagine... Like, what do blind people see? I need to meet a blind person and ask them questions. I don't mind. No, there's a dude with a... Uh, there's a blind guy who answers these questions. I will go to his channel. If I find it, I might link it. But yeah, it's like... This person is constantly reminded of what happened, but it's because they won't let the things that keep them secure go. And like, death has been sitting here like, um, Hey, um, I'm on a schedule. Like, you can come back. Okay, but it's you're literally next on the list. You can come back. You've been next on the list for three months, and you say that every time. You can still come back. 
you know, like trying to delay the inevitable. But the more they do that, the more guilty they feel. It's like holding on to this stuff is a constant reminder, but it's better than acknowledging what actually happened, if you will. Down below, you know, someone's looking at this and be like, I can't believe I worked to create this shit with somebody. Like, they take all the glory and I'm here with the fucking raincoat, right? And now, whenever they give me shit, it's always with a catch, I feel like, with this King of Pentacles reverse. It's like, you could probably work with this person. But I feel like they see you as a fucking disaster. But... That's because they're a disaster. You know, it's kind of like rejection when, like, you think something about somebody, but that's because, like, it's actually an issue with you, but you don't see it. That's how we learn the word hypocrite, pretty much. But it's like... Whoever you're dealing with is just... I don't know, maybe they're the colorless angel who's just trying to ignore feelings and shit or whatever, you know, just trying to be of like, you know, not the emotional, but the problem is they're like so fucking emotional. It's like, they're very emotional about how they went down with you, Sagittarius, but they're stubborn as shit too. Like they won't move from nothing. Like they got three pentacles in a row. Like they aren't doing shit, so. Well, technically, the Five of Cups came before, came after, like, the Four of Pentacles, but that's okay. We'll still say in a row. Anyway. Nine of Swords, right? It's reversed, so someone is definitely dreading some shit. Worried their mind away. Just feeling all tripped out and such, right? There's a love that can't be let go of. Four of Cups right here. It's like they're still mourning it. Despite the fact that they don't want to anymore, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. Um, they're watching for people who aren't even coming back, and they know that they're not coming back. So I don't know why they're doing that. You know, like, you tried to drown somebody. Unsuccessfully, though. But still, the sentiment is the same. You know, and they're not feeling too treasurable about themselves. They might feel broke. They might feel like, uh... You know... Down below with the star, they, there's a uh, wanting of communication as the root of the thoughts and feelings, but they're not taking any action towards it. Like if it was for booty, they're just sitting there staring on their horse. You know? Coming out with like ruthless information that no one gives a shit about, you know, the saying whatever. I guess whatever makes them... I mean, that could be the insecurity thing that they're still tugging on to right now. They might just say whatever so they don't have to feel anything. You know, what was it in the book that it said, like, uh, it's better to feel nothing than to feel pain? Or some shit like that. And that's not the right thing to do. It's staying now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Baby. Mm -hmm. You want these? Okay. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I didn't realize. Okay. That works. Ah, so let's see. We're going to the non of whatever. Do, do, do. I literally don't... Okay, that's the Nine of Swords. Okay, it took me a minute. Alright, Nine of Swords up here. Let's see. This is something this person kind of manifested on their own. They kind of created this. They put the magic in there to have this shit happen. Sagittarius and Crosswalkers. But I also feel like they want to have the ability to cause it to halt as well. Um, all of these problems and shit, right? Like, they created this, but now they want to try to create a way of stopping it, right? And down below with the thoughts and feelings. Mm, this has been something they've been trying to slay many a night. This is like a 
it's a guilty conscience. Both of these are like guilty conscience for what's been done. Um, you know, treating a gnome like they're fucking stupid, you know, like, you know, it, it, just because it's a gnome doesn't mean you don't go ahead and treat it like it's an equal creature of this fucking planet, you know, like, don't treat people like, you know, they're gnomes in general. They might have treated you like a gnome and gave you, like, the least shit available, Sagittarius and Crosswatcher alike. Just so they didn't have to deal with anything, but now they're greatly bothered on a nightly basis, at least, or... When, at least when they close their fucking eyes, they think of the times when they treated you like shit. Like, yeah, oh, you, you're hungry? Here, eat this. They colored a rock and, like, gave it to the gnome, and the gnome broke two teeth off of it. He thought it was funny. Now, much later, he... not so much. Oh, well, these... all do that. Alright, well, so with this judgment, right? Either a resurrection or a good idea? Someone wants to deliver an Amazon prime package to somebody's door. Make something work. Maybe a, a peace offering, an olive branch... Three of Pentacles, of course, but this package comes with a catch once again, and that catch is having to listen to somebody preach to your face, I feel like. Or tell you what is and is not right when it comes to how this um, relationship might go down in history. Or how it might go further. They're trying. It's like, it, 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 like it's like you know, like they might come bring something by, and all of a sudden they're talking about marriage. Like why? <laughs> I just started talking to you again, you stupid motherfucker. Like what are you thinking? <coughs> Definitely could be a Gemini or someone with um, a little bit of air and fire in their chart for sure. This chariot down here, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. It's reversed. Someone's just losing their shit. They don't know where to go. They don't know how to move forward. They might be a little bit hostile. They might go into a mosh pit while people are just chilling during the intermission and just start swinging their arms around, making Patrick the starfish noises of people, you know? Let's see. Yeah, uh, their insecurities, once again, it's, it's it, 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 like, exposed. Like, their insecurities are bothering them a lot. It, got, it, could, it could be a, a cancer. You or Crosswatcher could be dealing with as well. Um, they're rather impatient with shit. Because, uh, Sagittarius, you have your back turned. You're a little bit worried about other things. You're looking at the statue like, Did that make, does that make my tits look amazing or do they need to be better? Because they can easily be better. You know, like, you're kind of in, in, in that kind of energy. You're not even paying attention to them. Like, you're a little bit impatient yourself, sure, but you're not... Either that or they see you as impatient, but this is an insecurity on their part. They're, they were secure in this identity. Meanwhile, you're just sitting on your throne. Like, for them, they all, all they do is see your back turned. But in reality, you're just kind of like, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. It's cool. I'm just gonna chill here in my forest. Enjoy it. I got plenty of life surrounding me. I got plenty that makes me feel alive. And in your yard, you're erecting a statue with perfect shaped tits of yourself, too. So, that's marvelous. Yeah, good for you, man. Um, down below with this burden for this individual Sagittarius and Crosswatcher, um, they are stuck at their crossroads or they're acting like a martyr, thinking that people will, um, will sympathize with them, I feel like. That's a weird way of wording that. Who's that? Somebody said that. One of the guys said that. Anyway. Yeah, they're just hanging out, acting like a martyr, acting like they're sacrificing something when they're really just staying still. Um, and that's causing them to stay in the position of staying still as well. And they need to start listening to their intuition. Or they're keeping some parts of that a secret. Like, maybe they think they're moving on to a new beginning. But, you know, if you're, um... If you're going around, like, burning bridges with people, you should probably have a good reason for it. You know, like, you can't just... Mm. I don't know, man. Like, you know, I could try to be friends with anybody. You know, even fucking liars, if I know that they're lying just straight to my teeth. Like, I can go with the story, but it wants to figure out that you're lying to me, and you've been lying to me. Oh my god, I'll, I'll fuck you up for that shit. But it's kind of like this person's lying to themselves. In order not to feel the pain of what it is they've done. 
I feel like to you, Sag and Crosswatcher alike, they, they don't want to feel the pain of the guilt of it all. And it's just like, well, that's kind of dumb. Why? What? Oh, that's from the music. <laughs> I'm hearing like a, 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 a phone ring, a cordless phone ring at that all of a sudden is just kind of like, where did the 90s come from? Like, what the fuck? Let's see. Ooh, both of these popped up. But I'm going to lay another one, right? Um, now, up top here, where it's like, you know, they're coming in, trying to deliver something, and it becomes a sermon about how you guys will go down in history as the most beautiful couple ever. You're going to get married. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You just jump out and be like, no, um, I'm going to crack your head, and then I'm going to show you a little bit more of a gentler way of handling things, right? <coughs> Like, that's actually kind of funny. Like, you'll go and crack everybody else in the head, but you won't hurt an animal. <laughs> that's kind of cute. Um, like, you know how to be gentle, but when it comes... Like, this individual... Like, knows you have it in it to crack their head, but they also know that you might have a soft enough spot to um, be gentle with them. And they might take advantage of that, dude. They might just come and cut through um, definitely could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, he does it too. And they do it just out of nowhere where it, it just makes no sense. It's like, it, it's almost like they want you to behave a certain way. And when you don't do that, that's when they lash out at you. Acting like they have control of you. But bitch, you're still a queen. This is a king. You don't, you still don't tell him what to do. And it's the king of wands too, which is usually Leo. You can't tell that motherfucker what to do for nothing. You just let him go do what he wants. And he's cool. <laughs> Like, eventually you guys will come around, but like, no, you don't tell him what to do. You're a queen. You're below him in rank. That's actually kind of crazy. Like, you have a desire to beat the shit out of this person, Sagittarius, I feel like, but you're just like, you know what, I'm going to hold you in the palm of my hand and listen to what you have to say. And then out of nowhere, they're just like, well, I took a DNA test that says I'm 100% that bitch, and all of a sudden they just go into some nonsense that you don't even care about and you're just like oh my god okay like they come after you to make themselves feel better it seems like in a really fucked up ways that don't make sense second row where they got their insecurities out they think you're impatient but in reality you have your back turned you're just breathing in the clean air you're going out having a good time um they just want to drag you through the fire <laughs> They are so unhappy. They'll come around the fire, grab your hand, and it's all of a sudden just drag you through it. Uh, Ten of Cups Reverse. That's how I always see that card. It's like the girl screaming because her mom's almost got her over there. I don't know. It's weird because when things are reversed, they look so much more different. But it's like, they just want to drag you through a fire. Ugh. Um. What? Huh. Well, imagine that shit. It's like they want to drag you through the fire and make you, and, and they wish that they could abuse you in a way and use you in a way because it's like the same positions, right? Like they want to, they want to use you excessively to the point of exhaustion. That's how they want to burn you out. Like they just want to use up your energy to um, make their wish come true, and they'll just say mean shit to you in order to get that. And if I were you, I wouldn't listen to that idiot. I don't care how desperate I am for at least a friend, whoever this person is, Sag and Cross Watcher. Um, they're slightly cut, like you know, just a little bit, just enough. Just enough for me that you have to use the word. Let's see. Last row. This person's just hanging out for no fucking reason. Nothing starting for them, but they aren't really saying anything about that either. Um, they need to go inside. They need to take some drugs and go inside, honestly. They, they need something um, to go in there deep enough to think a stick is like a freaking snake. And a spirit dog pops out of nowhere to be like, Hello, John, we need to go somewhere. And, and, and nobody be like, How is the dog talking? You know, none of that. This is like a deep, deep dive into their own selves. 
on why they feel like they need to attack somebody in order to get stuff happening. Sagittarius, this person might be crazy. You know, just enough. Just, I, I don't, I, like, you know, the Queen of Swords has already shown up, what, like twice? That bitch is here somewhere twice? It, yeah, that's her. Yeah. She's here twice. And this person doesn't seem like... I mean, it's bad enough that they don't know how to treat things that are lesser than them, but now it's also like, you know deep inside they want to go in and change why they want to attack things or there's something that they want to attack in order to bring change for themselves but they're also thinking about dragging you to the fire putting you through some bullshit just so i don't know in some tri sick twisted way you feel grateful for having them around which is probably why you got the seven of wands up here just being like you know like i'm a crack skulls but I'm gonna give you a chance not to um, be crazy, and then they go and be crazy, and it's like I don't know. It's almost like they're surprised, you know, down here that you really don't care because they they really wanted to put you through the ringer. It's like this person doesn't understand how um, compassion works, I guess, but. That's your reading, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers alike. If you enjoyed this video, um, like, share, subscribe if that's what you wish to do. No pressure, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, I love you guys' faces. You be good. I'll see you later. Bye.